20 years ago, China's car industry was in an awkward position. On one hand, China was emerging as a powerhouse in manufacturing cars with traditional gas engines. But on the other hand, there was no domestic auto companies that could one day rival the popular foreign brands like Volkswagen and Mercedes. Many experts believe China was too far behind and was destined to always be a secondary player in the auto industry. But fast forward to today, and China now controls the entire supply chain of electric vehicles. What's even more important is that China has several domestic EV companies that are primed to lead the future of the industry. Tech analyst and EV expert Marcel Munch explains it best. There is no match for the Chinese EV. It offers the best affordability, best user experience, and supreme quality. There is simply no transition to sustainable mobility without China. In today's video, I'm going to break down exactly how China went from zero to hero in its quest for EV domination. The story of what China accomplished the past two decades is remarkable. Everyone, today's video is brought to you by Moomoo, a stock trading platform I use to buy and sell stocks in global markets around the world. Moomoo is offering each of you some incredible bonuses and special offers when you open a new trading account. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of today's video to hear more about today's special offer. China's journey to becoming the most important player in the EV industry started in the early 2000s when China realized they would never overtake US, German, and Japanese legacy automakers on internal combustion engine innovation. So China decided to pivot to the most extreme option left. What if China could produce the best cars in the world that were 100% powered by batteries? At the time, the risk was extremely high. But China had extra motivation. First, the EV vehicle provided China a chance at truly becoming a dominant player in the overly saturated auto industry. Second, by investing in EVs, China could solve some of the country's other problems. Reducing the severe air pollution and reducing its reliance on imported oil were two other potential benefits for Beijing. So China got to work and went all in on its quest to become the world leader in EV technology. In 2007, Wang Gang, an auto engineer who worked for Audi in Germany for over 10 years, became China's Ministry of Science and Technology, and his ascension marked the official move of the Chinese government to go all in on electric vehicles. Wang was enamored by electric vehicles and even tested Tesla's first EV model, the Roadster, in 2008. Since then, EV development has become the cornerstone of China's national economic planning. Fast forward to today, and China has fulfilled the goal it laid out some 23 years ago. China now controls the entire supply chain and remains the most important country in the production of every EV vehicle on the planet today. Andy Xie, a famous economist from Shanghai who was educated at MIT and the former chief economist for Morgan Stanley in Asia Pacific, recently stated, China's lead in electric cars is unable to be attacked questioned or defeated. With cheaper supply chains, better tech, and cheaper cost, the global north simply can't compete with China. But Westerners shouldn't worry about China's demanding lead in the EV industry. In fact, it's because of China that EV vehicles are becoming more affordable for everyone. Soon, EVs will become cheaper than cars with an internal combustion engine, and for new car buyers, the climate-friendly choice is also becoming an economical one. In my previous video, I outlined how China has a dominant lead in the one crucial area that will define the 21st century, electric batteries. Right now, the entire EV industry relies on technology from China to power their EV vehicles. Realistically, the United States won't be able to produce a comparable EV battery until at least 2030. But China is already stretching out its lead and exploring technologies to further enhance battery performance. Chinese EV maker JAC recently unveiled the world's first car powered by sodium ion battery. The battery could reduce the cost of EVs by over 10%. With China developing new technologies for the world, this should be welcomed by everybody, right? Surely Western countries can put aside their political differences with China and realize the great contributions China has made to the EV industry these past two decades. Unfortunately, it's not likely. And once again, politics will get in the way of what should be a win-win for the entire world. Shanghai economist Andy Xie predicts what is inevitably going to happen. The global north is likely to erect barriers in the name of national security, while the global south will welcome Welcome Chinese EVs to ease its dependence on imported oil, lower transportation costs, and boost productivity. Without a technological edge, EV makers in the global north will have a hard time overcoming China's cost advantage. While Western governments play checkers and try to compete with China in the EV space, China's government has been playing chess 
and already has the entire future of the EV industry in checkmate. That's a bold statement, and you might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, if China controls the EV industry, then what about Tesla? With a market cap exceeding $550 billion, Tesla is the absolute king of the EV market. But many people don't realize the development of Chinese EV industry has been deeply intertwined with Tesla's rise as the biggest EV company. And here is where China's genius strategy comes out in full force. When the Chinese government handed out subsidies to build up the EV market in China, it didn't limit them to domestic companies. Instead, China's government had the vision of creating the entire EV ecosystem in China. If China gave foreign companies the same subsidies local Chinese companies received, foreign companies like Tesla will become a valuable part of the Chinese ecosystem. And as a result, there would be no chance for the company to ever leave it. Elon Musk leveraged this to his advantage, and the reason Tesla is the company it is today is because of China. Tesla and the Chinese government came together in 2019 to build the Tesla Gigafactory in less than 12 months, which represents a supreme competitive advantage over most developed countries. If the US or another Western ally would try to build a mega factory, it would take three to five years to complete and cost many times more. Tula of the consulting firm Sino Auto Insights shares, to go from a effectively a dirt field to job one in about a year is unprecedented. It points to the central government and particularly the Shanghai government breaking down any barriers or roadblocks to get Tesla to that point. Today, China is an indispensable part of Tesla's supply chain. The Shanghai Gigafactory is currently Tesla's most productive manufacturing hub and accounts for more than half of Tesla's cars delivered in 2022. So while American brand Tesla continues to be an industry leader, one should never forget none of its accomplishments would have been possible without its close relationship with China. There is a saying in Chinese that goes, ta qiang, ren ta qiang. In fact, I'm actually wearing an Adidas shirt that says those exact words. The translation for this phrase is, he is strong, let him be strong. Meaning, don't fear if your competitor is strong, let him be stronger because a strong competitor will only bring out the best in you and force you to adapt and improve. In the West, we have a similar phrase, iron sharpens iron. And this is the mentality of the best athletes in the world. And it's also the mentality that China has had to embrace in order to transform itself into the world's second largest economy. And this is the most frustrating thing I see between the current US and China relationship. The US is not embracing the challenge of a rising China and using it to improve on itself. Instead, our politicians are doing everything in their power to contain and stop China's rise to protect America's hegemony. China has a much healthier outlook. Instead of blocking America's Tesla from entering China, China did the complete opposite. It welcomed Elon Musk and Tesla with open arms, embraced the American brand in China, and had the mindset to learn everything they could from the world's most famous EV brand. Truly, the dominance of Tesla has forced local Chinese EV brands to innovate and try to match everything from Tesla's technology advancement to its affordability. Fast forward to today, and local Chinese brands are producing incredible results and are now poised to enter into the next phase of development, expanding beyond China's border and officially entering into Western markets around the world. Last week, Yahoo News published this report. Say goodbye to the US car market as we know it. Cheap Chinese EVs are coming. One of the Chinese brands that have shocked the auto world is BYD, and its latest figures will absolutely shock you. BYD sold 1.86 million vehicles in 2022. That's more than the previous four years combined. BYD accounts for two in every five new energy car sales in China in the first quarter of 2023. BYD sold 550,000 cars globally in the first three months of 2023. That's more than all of the passenger vehicle registrations in the UK combined. Finally, BYD is aiming to sell 3 million vehicles this year. China is in a similar position to that of Japan in the 1970s. 50 years ago, Japanese automakers Toyota and Honda swooped into the American market with affordable and fuel-efficient vehicles that knocked U.S. car makers on their heels, and history may just be repeating itself. Remember, during the 1970s and 80s, Japan was seen as the greatest threat to the future of America, and there were a plethora of anti-Japanese books and a huge anti-Japan sentiment in America, very similar to the anti-China sentiment we now have in America today. Is it possible for Chinese companies to do what others have done before? Or only now with electric vehicles? This was a recent question asked by Bill Russo, a former Chrysler executive and CEO of Automobility. The answer is absolutely. Who doesn't want affordable vehicles? Tula 
founder of Sino Auto Insights, adds, they have the products to back it up. I've driven a number of Chinese EV brands, and boy oh boy, the Europeans are in trouble. If you're skeptical about China's dominance and how they will control the future of the EV industry, don't forget that China controls the supply chains for most of the metals and minerals needed for battery materials. In fact, the most important part of an electric vehicle is the battery cells, which make up roughly 40% of the cost of the EV vehicle. When we look at the critical components of the EV battery, including cobalt, nickel sulfate, lithium hydroxide, and graphite, most of these resources are found in mines in South America and Africa. However, the majority of these materials are then sent to China, where it controls the refining process. For example, 80% of the world's refined cobalt comes directly from factories in China, once again giving China an unprecedented amount of leverage in the future supply chains needed for the advancement of the EV industry. Given these facts, it's easy to conclude that all roads for the future of the EV industry, pun intended, run directly through China. Everyone, the future of electric vehicles remains bright, and you might be wondering how can you participate in the exponential growth of this industry? Just look at this chart highlighting the future growth of the EV industry, and you can see we are still in the beginning stages. If you're interested in investing in some of these companies, today's video sponsor, Moomoo, is going to help you. Moomoo is the stock trading app that I personally use to buy and sell stocks. And what I love about this trading platform is that it allows you to invest in US, Hong Kong, and Chinese A-share markets all in one account, which basically covers most of the electric cars and relevant companies in the world. But here is the number one feature I love about Moomoo. Their unique trading software allows you to explore popular industries and see the related companies in that field that you can invest in. Let me show you how it works. I simply log into my account and hit the explore button on the top of the page. Next, I'm going to select industrial chain. A variety of different industries pop up and electric vehicles is number two on that list. The market cap of the EV industry is $4.51 trillion, and there are 475 stocks related to this field. Now I can scroll through and see all the companies related to EVs. Let's say I want to invest in lithium companies. I simply click on that, and here are all the relevant companies. I can even click on the arrow in the right corner and filter the companies based on regions. For example, I'll select China, and here are the four Chinese lithium companies listed on the China market. I've personally tried many stock trading platforms, but Moomoo is the only one I've seen that has this unique feature of being able to easily search and research all the stocks related to a specific industry. If you are interested in trying out Moomoo for yourself, I've got some amazing special offers for you today. If you register a new account, you receive one free bonus stock. Register and fund your account with $100 and you'll receive 10 free stocks as a bonus gift. If you deposit $1,000, Moomoo is going to gift you a welcome bonus of 20 free stocks. These offers are exclusive for you as my follower and you must click the link in the description below to receive the bonus. Moomoo also offers special bonuses for Australian and Singaporean users. Australian users can get up to 10 free stocks when they deposit 2,000 Aussie dollars while Singaporean users can receive up to $128 cash back and $80 in free stock. Once again, I want to thank Moomoo for sponsoring today's video about the EV industry and a special thanks to reporter Yang Ziyi from the MIT Technology Review for his expert reporting that helped form the basis for my research in today's important video. Thank you all for your continued support. Hit that subscribe button. And finally, drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think about the future of the EV industry. Everyone, thank you all for your amazing support. And I look forward to seeing you all in our next video soon.